All right, well, this video is for anybody who's considering the maker license of SolidWorks versus Fusion 360 for personal use or Fusion 360, the full version. A uh, little bit of background. Uh, my day job, I'm a engineering technologist. I uh, used SolidWorks daily for a little bit there. Not so much these days, but I did for a while. And I've got my CSWP, so the SolidWorks uh, Certified Professional um, designation. Anyone who spends three to six months daily in SOLIDWORKS should be able to pass this pretty easily. So it's not really that great of an accolade, but it just shows that like someone has spent enough time in the software um, and has a certain level of proficiency. It's a three hour and 20 minute exam um, that they've created for SOLIDWORKS, just showing that you're able to use the program. So that's just my background and where I'm coming at this from. I also learned SOLIDWORKS in school, so it was the first CAD program that I was introduced to. So with that being said, when the Maker License came out, I thought, great, this is perfect. Um, I'll just get the Maker License at home and I can use that on my channel here to design stuff. And I don't have to worry about paying for a full SOLIDWORKS subscription. And I can also be on the same platform that I used at school and I've used at work. Um, so I don't have to flip flop between CAD programs at work and then at home when I'm on this channel. And I wish that would have just worked, um, but really uh, SOLIDWORKS Maker Edition has just been an absolute pain um, from the beginning, from the onset. It's next to impossible to find all of the install instructions in a clear and concise manner online, uh, in their in their forums, in anything. Uh, now with the 2024 update, I'm failing to get uh, a login ticket, which is a new problem, even though all of my subscriptions are still valid and paid for. Um, so I'm not getting access to something that I'm paying for. And so basically this is a PSA that I'm saying SOLIDWORKS Maker just is not working. It is a broken system and most people should, should shy away and not use it. And this is coming from a, a professional SOLIDWORKS user. Uh, it's, it's how I've made money in the past uh, and still currently. And you can see it all over their platform, the convoluted platform with just buttons everywhere. Um, all of these random programs that you don't need, you don't want access to, like all you want is a SOLIDWORKS connected and they just can't find a way to make that simply work. Um, but you come over here into their maker support and it's just an endless feed of people having issues. So like, how do I get a refund under the 30 day refund policy? Uh, simulation not working. Uh, yeah, unable to load client licenses. Issues updating, installing. How to request a refund. Like people just aren't happy with this platform and it's just not working. Uh, access denied in 3D experience platform. Unable to launch SolidWorks. Update to SolidWorks connected login. Like it's, it, it's just, it's a broken system and uh, it really just needs to be fixed. They, uh, they haven't figured out how to make this thing work smoothly. And so I would just avoid it, um, which leads me to having changed to, uh, to Fusion 360 here. So I'm not affiliated with either of these companies, but the, the errors in the SOLIDWORKS maker have just pushed me to go to Fusion. So Fusion has a personal license that is free. Um, from my understanding, most of the 3D design features are, are accessible in that personal use um, level of licensing. I've opted for the paid one just because I want the fully featured version and I'll probably be able to make this back monthly. Um, so 70 bucks per month or $382 per year. And this is for a full version of the software. Um, SolidWorks would be way above that for a full version. But like I said, you can go, for, you can opt for the Fusion 360 personal use, um, and that'll get you most of the way there. So if you're just get it, you're dipping your toes, you're just getting into it. Um, you can get a personal use license, learn the, learn the tools, and and use it that way um, before you opt into a fully paid version. Or you could just stay in the personal use forever. Like that would uh, 
if it suits your needs, that's what you should stick with. Um, but that's basically just my PSA video to avoid SolidWorks Maker and choose Fusion 360 if those are the two things that you're, uh, you're considering right now. Fusion has this free version that you can choose, and so you won't be out of pocket anything. You can download it, install it, learn to use the tool, make some models, and add CAD to your list of skill sets. So uh, yeah, I hope that helps someone make a decision. I've just spent way too much time troubleshooting SolidWorks Maker Edition and trying to get the licenses to work and trying to navigate their convoluted interface um, to not say anything. And hopefully this saves someone else the misery of dealing with their software and makes a decision easier for someone out there. But anyways, that's the end of this, uh, this complaining session, this little rant, um, and I'll see you in the next one.